Hello, this is John Milburn from Central Queensland University, and this is the first of a series of short videos in relation to legal research skills. The concentration of my material will be online resources. So generally, when you commence legal research, you would refer to legislation, and uh, we'll have a look at a few places where you might look at that to start with. From a federal level, um, I would recommend that you look at the Federal Register of Legislation. I'll share the screen so we can look at that now. We'll come back to a number of these websites and um, platforms uh, during the course of these presentations. But this is just to give you a brief introduction, legislation.gov.au, um, an excellent website, revamped. It was previously Comlaw, Federal uh, Register of Legislation, or the Legislation Register as it's known, is a vast improvement over the predecessor com law. The um, Federal Register of Legislation is an authorised whole of government website for the Commonwealth legislation and related documents. The related documents are very important when it comes to legal research. You'll become familiar particularly with bills and um, uh, materials such as explanatory memoranda. It contains in this website the full text and details of the life cycle of individual laws and relationships between them. So when we talk about the life cycle of individual laws, we're talking about the, your ability to determine what the law was at any point in time, and you need to do that when you're undertaking legal research. All right, so that's briefly uh, the Federal Register of Legislation. From a Queensland perspective, the authorised Website is Queensland Legislation. So this is legislation.qld.gov.au. And uh, this is a revamped website. Again, it's very um, good, user-friendly, has a lot of material um, which is valuable. And as mentioned, it's the authorised site as well. So this is produced by the Queensland Parliamentary Council. And uh, it's a place that you should look to for legislation and material about legislation. So that's legislation.qld.gov.au. The alternative that most people use when looking for legislation in Australia is Ostley. Again, a revamped version of the familiar website. This uh, website is excellent. It's not authorised, but it is uh, up to date um, usually, and um, it's excellent material. It has wonderful resources, case citators, note up functions, and uh, we'll go through that in more detail. Now, apart from that, you might look at um, uh, another excellent free website, which is Jade Barnett. So Jade is um, an excellent resource. It has a wonderful platform. It has a great way of presenting its material. It has a citator as well, Case Trace. Um, it's very user friendly and um, it has references to uh, material that is uh, up to date. It's not authorised material but it is nevertheless authoritative and uh, it's all free. Uh, one of the good things is that you can sign up to receive materials on a regular basis, daily if you wish, in your preferred areas of practice. So if you subscribe to Jade you will receive these um, up-to-date materials to your inbox uh, when you request it to be done. So we'll come back to Jade quite often. That's an excellent site. Com commonly is um, part of the OSLI type, uh, the, the Legal Information Institute series. This is for the Commonwealth and um, it is uh, excellent when it comes to looking at English law. You can access Australian law as well and uh, law from all around the Commonwealth. Okay, so there's some of the free websites. From a, uh, for a paid subscription is Lexis Advances, Advanced Pacific. Uh, again, it's revamped. This was formerly LexisNexis AU. It's um, very user friendly. I think you'll find the information here about the secondary materials to be excellent, such as uh, the Australiopedic uh, Encyclopedic Legal uh, Dictionary and the excellent Hallsbury's Laws of Australia. It has excellent um, uh, material by reference to the authorised Queensland reports. It has uh, information on case base. 
which is a very good side tater. So this is just a brief run through at this stage for you. The next is West Law, very popular. Um, I guess a direct competitor of the uh, Lexus Pacific Advance, uh, sorry, Lexus Advance Pacific website. And when it comes to West Law, you'll probably be looking at um, things like First Point, which is uh, an excellent citator. Uh, you have some authorised reports as well, and you have um, information about legislation and a lot of secondary material, um, which is very authoritative. So in that regard, probably the laws of Australia is where you would look if you're looking for general information uh, to assist you. Over on the side, you have to the right hand side some quick links and um, uh, some good inf information there about evidence law and civil procedure. Other than that, um, I would recommend that you consider some free websites. The first is Legalpedia Queensland. Legalpedia is an online legal database. It was ho it's hosted by LawRight, which is formerly the Queensland Public Interest Law Clearing House Incorporated. So Legalpedia has some uh, up-to-date materials in relation to a wide range of uh, law. Probably at a more basic level slightly, but very authoritative, excellent resource through Caxton um, Legal Centre Incorporated is the Queensland Law Handbook. Look, it's comprehensive. It's uh, plain English legal research, and it will help you deal with um, the legal problems, it says, and it's true to its word. So um, that's an excellent resource, and you can just use the browse facility to look at that material. Again, on the topic of free websites, let's have a look at the Supreme Court Library of Queensland website. If you're in practice, you may be eligible to sign up for uh, some uh, material which is provided free of charge beyond what you can access from the website uh, publicly available. So here you can find court decisions. You'll see up-to-date court decisions. For example, uh, a decision recently from the Queensland Court of Appeal. Again, you, you can subscribe to receive information into your inbox for up-to-date materials. You'd also look on this website for other information that uh, is relevant for legal research. It has links to legislation, to Queensland reports, um, which is the paid service. Um, it has information about practice directions. And uh, if you go to the Queensland Courts website, you can find information about practice directions and um, an excellent facility for searching uh, for precedence and, and uh, information about current cases is the Search Civil Files facility. And you'll see there's information there, latest news, uh, information about practice directions, etc. All right, so apart from that, perhaps a little less known, but still very useful, something like the bench books. Now, the um, bench books are a great resource because they are used uh, for judges. Or essentially, they're a, a guideline to judges. Many judges don't follow the content of the uh, bench book, but do have a look at this. Have a look at Supreme and District Court bench books for information about how judges explain legal concepts to um, members of a jury, for example. Um, also, have a look at the, uh, and I won't bring it up on the page, but the Queensland Sentencing Information Service, and I saw that on the Supreme Court um, page. All right, so just on the topic of bench books, one that's um, very comprehensive uh, is the Domestic and Family Violence Protection Act bench book, and uh, there's a lot of material there which will assist you if you're dealing with that area of practice. If you wish to stand on the shoulders of giants, as it were, Google Scholar is an excellent resource. And um, you can see there that there are a link to articles or case law. So Google Scholar, often overlooked, I think, when it comes to um, uh, legal research generally. Then finally, um, sorry, the Queensland Sentencing Advisory Council has information that is up to date, um, particularly in relation to sentencing for but will both adults and children. And the idea of this uh, website is to promote understanding about the sentencing process and uh, provide information for the benefit of the community. All right, I'll stop the share at this stage.
So having identified these various websites that you can access, I guess the question is, where do you start? How do you go about doing it? Well, the first thing that you need to do is consider your research methodology. Everyone will have a slightly different methodology. There's no one right answer to this. So you need to perhaps, in a way, if you do want to take this seriously, prepare some sort of flow chart or toolkit for yourself. And firstly, you think about the context. So where do you begin when you're approaching a legal problem? Many people use the IRAC method of, uh, as a template for legal problem solving. So they identify the issues, then the rules, apply the rules and come to a conclusion, IRAC. In that context, once you've identified the issues that are important, you then go about looking for the rules, which is really what legal research is all about. So think about what databases are available to you. I've given you a selection of some, that's not all of them. And think about a search strategy that works for you. Also think about referencing. Okay, so legislation and case law. So the primary sources of uh, our law are legislation and case law. Legislation will um, overrule or override case law. So of the two primary sources, legislation is, in my suggestion, would be the first place to look. And you'd look probably at legislation and case law even before you look at secondary materials. Um, that's not always the case. You may prefer to go to somewhere like Hallsbury's or the Laws of Australia to undertake some general research or even the Queensland uh, uh, Handbook. But legislation. So where do you find the legislation? And don't forget the regulations. Online, we've given you a selection of a few. You'll need to learn how to cite your material You'll need to ensure that your legislation is up to date. One way to do that is to cross-reference between the platforms to see if it is uh, relevant and up to date. You can use the note up function to determine whether cases have been uh, reported or considered in relation to specific legislation and we'll show you the note up facility, particularly in Ostley, uh, which works very well. Of course, when it comes to looking at the legislation, you need to know how to read it. So use your statutory interpretation skills in that regard. And um, I guess the starting point would be to look at the objects clause of the legislation and always look at the definitions clauses of legislation. They're always a great aid for interpretation of the statute. Sometimes you need to go a little further than looking just at the statute and have a look at the explanatory memoranda for the Commonwealth level or the explanatory notes at a state level in Queensland. Find out when the Act came into effect. Again, you're relying on your statutory interpretation skills to do that. And think about subordinate legislation, regulations, etc., which are very important. That's a really quick run through of some of the methodology that you need to apply when considering legal research for legislation. Now with case law, you need to understand the difference between the authorised reports and the unauthorised reports. Find out where the authorised reports can be found. Usually you'll find them Lexis, um, Advanced Pacific or, or West Law, um, but not always. You'll need to learn how to cite cases. Make sure you look at the Australian Guide to Legal Citations in that regard. And then think about how to prepare a case note, how to read the case. Make sure you look at majority opinions versus dissent judgments, and then consider how to note up a case. We'll talk about that in later materials and presentations. So when you present your material, you need to put it all together, and that's where you, your legal research skills and your toolkit, if you, as I've described it, comes together. So for legal research, adopt a systematic approach, know where to look, look at the good quality information, read actively and efficiently. Essentially, that means to some degree you need to speed read, particularly when you're looking at legislation, you need to consider the context of the entire piece of legislation. So avoid the temptation of going straight to a section without considering it in context. I mentioned that sometimes you're looking to undertake your legal research as a result of considering the issues and then thinking about the rules. Well, it may not be apparent to you where the rules are found. So you may have to think laterally. You may have to do some brainstorming and uh, be prepared to broaden your reading initially, which means a lot of speed reading, and then narrow down into the perusal or second reading stage. You'll need to understand syntax um, uh, assistance. You'll need to think about search terms, 
using Boolean collectors, things of that nature. So for example, it might be director's duties and duty of care that you use as your search terms when you're undertaking search of some of the more general platforms such as uh, in Lexus um, Advance, Pacific and Westlaw. Right, so think about your legal research strategy. Think about how you apply the IRAC method. And remember, of course, when you're citing your research, follow the guidelines to the Australian Guide to Legal Citations. There are a few basics to it. Make sure that you use footnotes when you're referencing material uh, relating to law. When you're typing the name of a case, type the name of the parties in italics. When you're um, referring to a case by, uh, if there's a volume in it, you'll use round brackets. If, if it's by year only and no volume, use square brackets. Make sure that you pinpoint reference where appropriate. So that might be, for example, Dietrich against R, open brackets, 1992-177-CLR-292-299. The comma 299 says that this particular part of your research relates to page 299 of the material. Generally, in a legal writing, you don't include the URL, you include the legal citation, as we've described it. Okay, so that's all for this introductory video. In the next video, we'll, we'll talk about how you start your research. Thank you.